Hello, we are second and fifth grade students from the school in the neighborhood around USC. And we are all learning robotics and computer science in an after school program taught by computer science students at Viterbi School of Engineering. We are excited to see how engineers build and research robots to meet the grand challenges of society, to improve our lives and make our planet healthier and our community safer. We want to introduce you to some of the robots you can see at the annual robotics open house. Notice that the engineers always use the word autonomous when they talk about robots. Autonomous means that robots can work independently of human control because they are programmed to respond to their environment. A robot is an autonomous system that exists in the physical world, can sense its environment, and can act on it to achieve some goals, such as exploring, working, helping, learning, looking, building, and collaborating. This is Hermes, a humanoid robot with two moving eyes, actuated hands, and a 3D camera, and various touch and sensing devices. The robot is part of the USC Computational Learning and Motor Control Lab for research in robot control and autonomous learning. Researchers program Hermes to walk more like a human than a robot. Someday, these skills may eventually allow it to enter dangerous environments and help with disaster recovery. This is EcoMapper, an explorer robot that helps scientists and environmentalists explore areas where it is difficult for humans to go. EcoMapper is for, short for Ecological Mapper and it is an autonomous underwater vehicle that explores and monitors oceans and lakes without human help. It can operate for 8 to 10 hours and has a variety of sensors to survey and map the water column and the ocean floor to help us understand why harmful algae blooms happen or to search for shipwrecks, mines, or sunken cities. Someday these skills may eventually allow it to enter dangerous environments and help with disaster recovery. This is ASV, an explorer robot that can ex operate for about 8 to 10 hours on the surface of a lake or in marina. ASV stands for Autonomous Surface Vessel. It has sensors that can map the environment and find objects on or in the water. It can also be equipped with additional sensors that can measure water properties such as current, temperatures, and salt content. ASV can be used for similar applications as the EcoMapper to protect the health of lakes and oceans. This is Bandit, a humanoid helper robot that coaches autistic children and patients in rehabilitation by demonstrating exercises. If the patients do not follow all of the exercises, Bandit can sense this and encourages them to keep exercising. Bandit is used at the Rancho Los Amigos National Rehabilitation Center. This is PR2, a helper robot that researchers use to design adaptive systems that facilitate free-form interaction with children as well as adults. It is used to help people that are able-bodied as well as those with disabilities. Researchers are programming the PR2 to have verbal and non-verbal communication skills as such as speech and body language. Robots are an important part of 21st century life, involved in manufacturing, health, communications, exploration, artificial intelligence, home care, transportation, military, and much more. And for my generation, well, for all generations really, computer programming is an essential skill and necessary second language in today's technological society. So it's really cool that we can visit and learn about these robots now. I like robotics because there are cool robots that I could explore and discover about. I like robotics because you can because you can imagine anything you want to and you can build it and it can be real life. Robots are amazing because they can help us, they can help society. You get to learn about how robots help the world, how robots are used in everyday life. I want to see what people have made in the past so you can make something better in the present. 